This video will illustrate a bilateral sympathectomy in a 35-year-old female with pulmonary hyperhidrosis. We started this operation in the left chest where the pleura just below the sympathetic chain, which is that white long structure, is incised. And then we'll incise the pleura above the chain, about two centimeters or so above, just to incorporate any aberrant nerve bundle of Kuhn's. The sympathectomy is performed between levels T3 and T4. We use a hook cautery and essentially mobilize a pleura. Here you'll see the sympathetic chain coming around right, right there along the uh, hook cautery, which is then cauterized. And then the chain is taken up all the way to level of about T3 and then ligated again. We have extensive discussions with, with these patients in the office about compensatory sweating, gustatory sweating, and Horner syndrome. A lot of times after the procedure, uh, patients will experience immediate relief of their pulmonary uh, sweating. However, can get compensation and increased sweating along the soles of their feet, their trunk, and their cheeks. And so it's important that the patients are made aware of this ahead of time. Uh, most of the time, patients will agree to proceed with the uh, operation given the social dilemma associated with the pulmonary hyperhidrosis. Once the left side is done, we then make sure there's good hemostasis and then we'll proceed with the operation on the right side. There, there's at level T3 and taking down all the way to level T4. The right sympathectomy essentially is the exact same procedure as done on the left side. The pleura is incised there below the sympathetic chain. It will be incised above the chain, and then the sympathetic chain will be ligated with cautery. And again, I do go lateral to the chain to incorporate any aberrant nerve bundles of Kuntz. Right there is a sympathetic chain. We'll go ahead and join the pleura here. Here we are ligating the sympathetic chain and then mobilizing, mobilizing it off of the chest wall. This patient did very well post-operatively. She was discharged home from recovery unit and prior to discharge, she had complete resolution of her hyperhidrosis symptoms.